So I've just stepped out of my hostel and I've already found this amazing little market with all of these handmade crafts and things. And all of the buildings are just super, super colorful. Like, I am so happy to be here. So I am standing in the Zocalo or main square of Puebla City, which is the main city of the Puebla state of Mexico, and I am just absolutely blown away. Like I knew it was going to be beautiful, but it is just, it's crazy beautiful. It's about two hours by bus from Mexico City, and a lot of people do it as a day trip. But honestly, I was planning on spending two days here, and I don't think that's gonna be enough. If you are interested in coming just for the day, you can book a tour through Get Your Guide that will take you from Mexico City to both Puebla and the neighboring town of Cholula, which you'll see more of in this video. I'll link it in the description below. So I'm just kind of wandering around aimlessly right now. Um, I have a plan for tomorrow to visit some places in town, but tonight I was just gonna pop out and grab something to eat, but I can't put my camera down. Pepe again because I love the one in Mexico City so much. And this one here actually only opened a month ago and it's quite a bit cheaper. It's only $15 a night and it has breakfast included, so that's nice. also a bunch of these tour buses lined up in the Zocalo. I've done one like this before in Mexico City, hop on, hop off kind of tour, so I'm going to find out some information about this. This might be a good option. So 
So the bus drivers just gave me some information about a train that goes to Cholula, which is a nearby area. Um, it's kind of part of Puebla, but it's kind of its own thing. And it has this beautiful monastery on top of what looks like a hill, but it's actually an underground pyramid. So I'm gonna go ahead and head over that way. It was something I wanted to do today anyway. So I just got here to the train station and I found out that it's actually free, so that's pretty cool. But it's 11 o'clock right now and they said the next one doesn't leave until 4 or 4.30. So I guess I'm gonna get an Uber to Chulufa. So I've just arrived in Chulula by Uber. Um, it was about a 20 minute Uber ride, but it cost less than $5. Um, so now I'm gonna go and check out the monastery. I'm at the base of the pyramid right now. So I'm in the main square of Cholula right now, and I'm right in front of the archaeological site for this pyramid. This is kind of one of the main reasons people come to Cholula, to see this uh, monastery or convent on top of the pyramid. And they've only excavated part of it, but it's actually the largest pyramid in the world by volume. So I'm heading up the pyramid now, or the mountain, mountain pyramid. Actually, um, the name in Nahuatl, the Aztec language, it's very long and difficult to pronounce and I can't do it, but it means, it translates to handmade mountain. But the view at the top is gonna be incredible. Cholula is said to have one church for every day of the year, and while that's not exactly true, it does have a lot of churches in proportion to its small size. Another popular one is the San Gabriel Monastery and Convent, which is close to 500 years old and is one of the largest Franciscan friaries in Mexico. I caught the last train back to Puebla to rest up for another day of exploring. Stay tuned for more of Puebla in my next video, where I'll take a stroll through the Calle de los Dulces, a street dedicated entirely to sweets, and watch the artists work in the famed Barrio del Artista, and also visit the oldest library in the Americas.